Dear student, it's Mr. Bia here. Uh, today we are going to cover module 4, which is construction line. So we are going to do a unit called ellipse. This unit contributes 15% towards your national paper. So we are going to cover about 8 steps to complete this unit. So in step 1, you need to mark off major axis which is AB and the minor axis which is CD. So as you can see here we've got the major X and then we've got A to B which is equals to 100 millimeters. So this is our major X axis. So as you can see here I've already drawn the major X which is uh, a B which is a B a B as you can see here a B and please note that the reason why we draw this a uh, center line this dotted line it represents a center so it means this line is also our center at the same time so if we come here and then we'll see that O represent our center so this is our center line all right so now we've got uh, please forgive me with the spelling of minor so we've got the minor x which is c d and it's the dimension it's 50 millimeters so c to d covers 15 millimeters it means here it's 25 and here is 25 and that makes 50 so this is the center so we are done with step one so we've got c d as a minor x and then we've got a b which is a major x so in this step this is step two so what you have to do here because you've got this point uh, from the previous uh, slide which is this point and this point what you have to do now you need to take your ruler and draw this line that is already here so you are done with step two that is was so simple then now in step three with the point o as a center and ob as the radius obtain point e on line dc to produce all right so you need to obtain a point which is e at through o so you need what you have to do here because we've got this point which is p and then we've got this one that is o you need to stretch your campus stretch it up to this point then you draw this up to E. So we are done with this step. So now here is another step. So to obtain a point F, what you have to do is because you've got this point already, which is C. So what you have to do is you need to position your compass here. And then you stretch it to this point, which is E. Then you draw this arc here to obtain point F. This point is very, very, very important. So you are done with your step four. So this is a complicated uh, step. What you have to do here, you need to draw some arc. To obtain a point V and W so most students get confused here so please for now ignore these two arcs as I'm going to show you how we obtain this arc or let me go to the uh, previous slide so that you see how we obtain this slide so I'm going to first erase this line, this, and then so that I can demonstrate how we obtain those two up. 
point. All right. So now, because you've got point F, so you need to take your canvas. This is your canvas. You need to take it. You stretch it through these boundaries. So through this area. So you stretch, let's say you stretch it up maybe to here. So this is where you have positioned it. You stretch it, you put your pencil here. You remember it, has, it goes with the pencil. So you draw an arc here like this. Then you don't lift it up here, but you just lift it up as if like you are drawing a circle. Then you come here, still this is placed on this point. So you come up with an arc. So if you don't have to lift it up, it means you will come up with a, a circle like this. Let me just demonstrate this. I want you to understand the step because most of the student gets lost here. So I'm going to start afresh in this step. So what you have to do here, we need to obtain a point. We need to obtain, in fact, a, a point somewhere here, which will be a V and a W. So for now, before we obtain this point, we need to obtain two arcs. So you, you position your, your, your campus here, you stretch it up to maybe here because we don't have a given a uh, dimension or a given size so how long we must stretch it and so forth so you don't change the size but you have to rotate with it to rotate with it until you mark around a point here so that's where you can lift it up now then you position it here so when you position it in here you stretch then up to here then now you mark and then you don't lift it here but you have to rotate it and rotate it until you come across this arc again you mark so now you've got uh, let me erase this two point here so now you've got a uh, two arcs So you draw a, you take your ruler and draw a straight line here. It must go straight into this point. So now you have obtained your two points, which is V and W. So let's go to the next step. But we have just moved very, very forward. We have fast track uh, the steps. So now, these are the arcs that I was trying to explain how I got them. So these are the points that I'm talking about. But let's go to the next step so that you can see. So here is your straight line that our, I have drawn already. So this is your point, which is point V and point W obtained through these arcs. So this is where most of the students got confused. So now, because we've got this point, and it means we know the size from O to V. So for example here, yeah, this, uh, uh, this step is trying to tell you how to obtain these two points of which I've already shown you. So, but now, since we've got this point and this point, we need to get a point somewhere here because a distance from here, which is OV, is equivalent to a distance from here. Let me just say Z here. So you need if if a distance from OV, uh, it's twenty millimeters. So it means you need to measure another twenty millimeters from OZ. So it's twenty here. So you've got a point around here. So Distance from here to here is equivalent. So when you've got this point, you take your ruler, you place it in this point, and then you draw. So you've got this line. 
So, all right, let's just move from away from this step. So now here is the step that I was explaining. So mark of OX, which is OX, is OX, which is equals to OV, as I've explained that this and this, they are equal. So now uh, we need to draw another line from uh, X to a certain point here. It means now to get that point here, we need to measure distance from O W. If the distance from O W is 30 millimeters, it means also we need to measure 30 millimeters, maybe for example from O Y. So distance from O W is equivalent to O Y. So what you have to do is you've got a point already here, then you need to draw another line. So you've got this point and then you've got this point here, which is Z in our case. So here is the complete uh, construction lines. Here are the points that I was uh, doing just in our previous slides. So these are the points that are most important in this drawing and that's why they call this type of drawing a four center method. They are referring to these uh, four points because they are in the center of O. So now you need to move to the next step. This is almost the last step. So what you have to do here, you need to position your compass to this point. Let's start with this one. So you position it from X and then you stretch it up to uh, here because this is a point uh, right now. You need to position up to uh, point B, for example, that you, you start drawing your you end here, then you come at this side again, you position it to B, then you stretch it up to there, then you draw your arc here, then you lift it up, you come and position your arc here in Y to obtain this line. So what you have to do now, you need to draw a, a line from there. Remember your compass is standing here, and then you need to stretch it up to here, maybe D. Then you have to come across with something like this. And then now you need to turn around. You position it here. Then as it's shown here from the example, then you stretch it up to C. So you draw a line here. Then your ellipse is complete. So you can see this is a complete ellipse. So student, please note that you are not uh, supposed to erase your construction line as the marker would want to see the construction lines and they contribute to marks towards uh, your national paper, towards this unit. So you must not erase any construction lines. The reason for that is because the marker wants to see what method you use because the only method that is recommended for ellipse it is the four center method the one that is demonstrated in this video so i know there are other methods like the circle which is the cycle method which is uh, the circle you draw the circle and then now you need to join here and then you join here and then it makes your ellipse. So this method is not recommended. If you draw this uh, this method, it, you use this method and then you erase the line, it means you were cheating. So that's why the examiner or the marker wants to see which method you have used. Thank you, student, and God bless you.